we proceed to our quarter one, week one B pre-calculus course. Okay, so we have we are done introducing the first uh, lesson in pre-calculus, which is the uh, introduction to the concept of conic sections. So this time we will go deeper into these concepts. Welcome to um, lesson B of conic sections. All right. Before we proceed, let's have a brief review of what we have done in the previous lesson. So you already know that we talked about conic sections um, and the competency that we were able to learn was to illustrate conic sections such as circle, ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola using your right circular cone. Uh, diba nag... Uh, Trace ka mo sa cardboard sa uh, shapes ng cone na to have a visual representation of what the right circular cone looks like. And then imagining that there is a cutting plane uh, for the circular cone. And then when you cut the cone in such an angle, you create or generate this... Um, conic sections or conics for short okay so um, this conics are generated only uh, specifically based on the position and the angle made by the plane with the axis of the right circular cone so today we will uh, look at um, the shapes and uh, figures drawn or generated by the cutting plane with respect to the cone. Okay, so to help you visualize, here is an animation of how it looks like. Man. Okay, so diba you had a right circular cone composed of two naps. No, nap one, nap two, and this blue figure here is your is your uh, plane. You're cutting your plane. So if kung nag kung gina move mong i mga cutting plane, this red one, and then uh, you position it in such a way that it has a certain angle uh, made uh, made with the axis. This white line here is the axis of your right circular cone. Na, so, notice na kung ang imong nga plane ma ikat niya ang, ang, ang right circular cone uh, with, with two naps, ang ma-create niya is a hyperbola. Na, pero kung parallel ang imong nga cutting plane sa base sa imong cone, or that is perpendicular siya sa axis, uh, notice, kung perpendicular ang imong cutting plane sa axis, it creates a circle. Pero if you tilt it a little bit, in such a way nga hindi siya maglapaw sa base, it becomes an ellipse. Uh, okay? And then, kung one nap lang, it becomes a parabola. Na before siya mag-hyperbola, gaparabola siya anay, kahit isa lang kanap ang makat niya. Pero kung dua kanap, Two naps ang makat niya, it becomes a hyperbola. Okay? So, kahapon, or the previous lesson, amun ni Atun Gin, illustrate, no? Introduction lang, anay, paano mag-create or mag-generate ng, ng conic sections. So, this time around, isa-isa ho na ni sila. Okay? Isa-isa ho na ni sila um, discuss. We shall start with the concept of circle. I know you are familiar with the with, uh, concept of circles, kaya ti isang grade 10 ka mo na uh, introduce na ni sa inyo. So, this lesson would be, I think, uh, a lot easier. Okay? I hope a lot easier. I bet it will be. Okay? Let's make it easier. Now, ang atun na uh, i-discuss is the graph. Okay? The parts, equations, and how to graph it on the Cartesian plane. So, amun yung atun tunan. Okay? So, kahapon, or on the other uh, previous uh, discussion, paano sila gin-generate? 
So this time, uh, ang aton nga view hindi na sa hindi na sa cone kundi ang view natin is on the cutting plane. Okay? Sa plane na siya. So when when the cutting plane intersect the nap or naps of the right circular cone, amo ni ang mga images nga ma, ma create niya or ma generate niya. Okay? So diri kita ma focus sa graph. And we shall start with the concept of circle. We will do it one day at a time. So we shall start with circles first. Okay? So I hope you're enjoying this animation here. No? And I hope you're, you, uh, the concept of how this conics are generated uh, makita ninyo based on this animation. Okay? Sige. Let's proceed. So for quarter one, week one B, our competency is to define a circle. Okay, define meaning not only uh, give a description of what a circle is, but also um, all other concepts pertaining to circles, such as the graph, the equation, the parts. Okay, and this time around, uh, let's acknowledge the writer for week one B. Ma'am Juna Marie Kasha. She is from 5th District. Uh, actually, she is my uh, little trivia. She is my classmate from college. Okay? So, thank you, Ma'am Juna Marie Kasha. Shout out sa imo. Uh, the same goes to Ma'am Krisha Meharuda, our layout artist and president of the ISMTA, Division of Iloilo uh, Mathematics Teachers Association. Uh, schools Division of Iloilo. Then, shout out also to our Education Program Supervisor 1 in Mathematics, Dr. Kim Arsenia. Okay? Now, let's start talking about circles. By definition, okay, by definition, a circle is a set or locus of points, meaning infinitely many. Okay? Set set of points in a plane however this points all these points in that set is equidistant from a given point the given point is a center is the center of the circle okay so imagine there is a a cartesian plane if you locate a point on that plane and name that as the center and then determine a certain distance from the center, and all those uh, all the, uh, all those points around the center have equal distance. Then the points that has equal distances from the center is the circle. Okay? Do I make myself clear? Okay, let's have another animation. None. Okay, so let's say this is your Cartesian plane. And this would be my point, the given point. So this given point shall be the center of my circle. So if I have uh, a certain distance, if I determine a certain distance r, which is the radius, and from the center having that distance, I have another point, and if I determine all the points, I get a set or locus of points such that every point I have determined is equidistant from the center. The, all these orange points are locus of points. Uh, then, all the points I have determined, which are of equal distance from the center is the circle okay this this orange curve here is actually your circle okay ni circle mm. so circle inilang ang inilang wala labot ang sasagwa kag ang sasulod mm. a little trivia hambal nila ang circle ko no duwa ka side do you agree Kung ang triangle, tatlo ka sides, ang square, apat, ang circle, kuno, pila. Mabal nila, duwa. Do you agree? Hmm. 
Dua ko no, dua ko no ang sides ng circle. The inside and the outside. Nah. Corny no, joke lang na, joke lang. Okay, just to make you smile early this morning or in whatever time you are looking at this video. Well, anyway, sige, proceed kita. So, I hope the definition of circle is uh, clear now. So, you have the center and you have the radius. The radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. So, ang radius distance, it's a, it's a length from the center to the circle. So, the two most important parts of a circle uh, are actually the center and the radius. So, everything, everything um, depends on those two concepts, the center and the circle. Ah, and the center and the radius rather, okay? Now, focusing on the Cartesian plane. Focusing on the Cartesian plane, we have these illustrations here, okay? Mm. So, if we have a given point, which is the center, kay sa Cartesian plane siya, syempre, every point on the Cartesian plane has coordinates, an ordered pair, diba? Okay? So, if this is my point, which is the center, I'll name it point C, so, ang coordinates ng point niya na would be X and Y. Okay? Minsa nga H and K. This is to just differentiate it from the point on the circle para hindi ka ma-confuse X and Y ni, X and Y man ni. Okay? So, arbitrary variables again ni sila. So, pwede man ni siya A, B, uh, W, Z. Actually, pwede any. Basta, balaan mo nga ang, ang point niya ni is the coordinates, are the coordinates of the center. But it has been customar, customary na nga H and K ang gina denote sa center of a conic section. Okay? H, K. H is for the X coordinate of the center. K is for the Y coordinate of the center. Now, this is important Aside from that being the center, if we locate a point with certain distance r and then connect it with other points such that these points also have the same distance r, then all the points you have created, a locus of point, the set of points becomes a circle, diba? Na. So if that point, if that point I name as point P, syempre ang point na may coordinates man. So the coordinates would be labeled as x, y. Okay? Now, if I have the distance from point P to the center C, this becomes R, di ba? Na. So, sa inyong uh, uh, basic algebra, may length ang distance, di ba? May length. So, kung may dua ka ka point, you can actually get the length of the, the, of the segment joining the two points, tama? Na. So, dali na siya naghalin. Ang ini, this is actually formula for distance. Kaya ang niyo. niyo. Let's see be a given point. So, ikaw ang madetermine sa point on the Cartesian plane. So, pag gusto ka kung din ka matuldok sa Cartesian plane. Okay? Then, locate points P having the same distance from the C. So, tanan niya points niya na is the circle. So, point C is the center. And the common distance is R. Since distance ang, ang R, meaning from point P to point C, distance siya, we can actually find the length. So, the length of segment PC is equal to the radius R. So, by distance formula, diba? distance formula is equal to the square root of the X coordinate, the first coordinate, the first X coordinate minus the second X coordinate, so, x minus h, quantity squared, plus the first y coordinate minus the second y coordinate, y minus k, quantity squared. You take the square root of that, that is actually the length of the distance. In this case, the distance is r. So, uh, extracting, doing algebra here, if you have a radical sign, you, ex you, you eliminate the radical sign by raising it to a certain exponent. Since square root in a, 
para makuha ang square root, para makancel out, we square both sides. So, squaring this gives you this. Diba? The square of the square root becomes the radicand. Since this is, these two are equal by addition, by, by uh, equation, property, no? Dapat balance kung nag, nag square ka di sa piyak, mas square ka man di sa piyak. That's why nag r squared siya. Pero ang, ang radical sign today, wala na. Kay na cancel out na. Okay? So this now becomes the standard equation of the circle. Okay? Dini siya nagalin from the distance formula. The distance formula says the square root of the sum of the squares. Diba? The sum of the, the difference of squares. Amun yung first coordinate minus uh, first x coordinate minus second x coordinate squared. Then add the square the difference of the y coordinate first y coordinate and the second y coordinate squared man. Then extract the square root. Amun na ang length or ang distance between two points. So kay wala kita value, wala kita value for our variables. So ibutang ta lang siya. Then generating or creating your standard equation of the circle. Okay? Now, 'di ba ikaw ang naghahatag sang center sang circle? So pwede ang imo nga point, ang center sang circle mo pwede sa origin or anywhere on the Cartesian plane. Now, if the center of your circle is at the origin, meaning the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate are zero. So, zero ni, zero ni. What will happen? Siyempre, x minus zero squared becomes x squared plus y minus zero squared becomes y squared. So, the standard equation of your circle, if the center is at the origin, would be this. Okay? Ini ya kung hindi sa origin. This is the standard form of the equation of the circle if your center is not at the origin. Pero kung sa origin, naman eh. Okay, I hope that's clear. Now, let's proceed. Amun na ningin mention tayo. Example. Okay, example. If we have the equation of the circle, x squared plus y squared minus 12, identify ta kuno ang center and radius. So, Para mabalan mo ang center and radius ka circle, lantawan mo anay ang pattern sa equation. Anong ginafollow niya? Ang mabalan ni o kuntong isa? So, obviously, wala sang parenthesis, no? Wala. So, obviously, ang ginafollow niya ang iya sang standard equation sa circle. Whose center is at the origin? Ang mulang niyo, x squared lang, y squared lang, tapos r squared lang. Karon ang pamangkot ha, Ano ang radius kung ang muning pattern? Ano ang center kung ang muning pattern? Okay? So, for the solution, obviously, the center is at 0, 0. Paano mo balaan yung obvious? Kay wala na sang iba niya ng birdie o upod sang x kag y. Hmm? Unlike nga kung ang muni, may dapat may upod pa siya. Diba? Uh, the equation is simple. That means the center is at the origin. Okay? So, first, problem solved. Last, Ang radius. So, kung amun yung x squared, amun yung y squared, um, dali mo makita ang center, iniya para sa diin. Siyempre, duwa mo lang ang parts ng circle ta, ba? Center and radius. Uh, actually, there are other parts, pero ang importante nga parts para makreate ang equations ng circle, center lang man kag radius. Okay? Uh, so, meaning to say, this is something to do with the radius. Hmm. So, to determine the radius, Dapat ang pattern mo nagafollow sa standard form. Meaning, the x and y variables are on the left side and the radius is on the uh, on the right side. Ang, uh, ang imo nga center, ang equal sign. So, by addition property of equality, ma plus 12 ka di, ma plus 12 ka di, or ang aton method yung nagamit yun ng transposition, batihan nyo na. Okay, so, i-transpose ta ini diri sa piyak, ang minus sign, ma plus sign. But actually, the principle behind that is addition property of equality. Okay, so, ma plus 12 ka di, so, ma zero siya. 
0 plus 12 ma 12. So, this is now the standard equation of the circle whose center is at 0, 0. Now, we're looking for the radius. So, 12 ini. Butang balon, r squared ni siya. Diba? Because our, our equation says square of the radius. Ang value nga ni. Meaning to say, ano ang gin square mo to get, to get 12? Ah, hindi magambal 6 ha? Square ang yun istoryahan ta. Square hindi times 2. Okay? Ano nga number ang gin square mo para mag 12? Meaning, gin multiply mo kadua para mag 12. Di 6 times 12, 6 times 6 bala 12. Di bala? Hindi. 6 plus 6 ng imo na namin. So, para mahapos manumdum, i-equate siya sa 12 ang r squared. Kay square ni siya mo, di ba? So, ano ang gin square mo to get 12? Kung di square root mo si 12, ah, kaling si 12 hindi perfect square. Di ba? Hindi siya perfect square. So, kung i-calculator mo ni, pwede man. You get a decimal value. Pero, ang aton niya 12, pwede ma-factor. May factor siya nga perfect square, which is 4 and 3. Hindi nga 4 and 3, gid hindi pwede ang 6 kag 2. 12 man na gyapon. Hindi, 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 hindi pwede ang 12 times 1. 4 ang aton kag 3 gamitin nga factors, kaya ang 4 perfect square. Ang 6 kag 2 hindi. Okay? Uh, we're dealing with square roots. So, 4 times 3 aton gamitin. So, square root of 4 is 2, kay perfect square si 4, so magwa siya sa radical sign. Ang 3 hindi perfect square, mapabilin siya. Therefore, the radius of our circle, whose equation is this, is 2 square root of 3. Na, kung kung i-compute mo na sa calculator, square root of 12 becomes 3.46. So, i-decimal form mo siya kung gusto mo siya i-graph. Kung i-graph mo na ni siya, compute mo using the calculator para mabanta-banta mo ang ang pilagin niyang length niya, square root of 12, 3.46. Kaya hindi mo man mabanta-banta sa graphing paper ang 2 square root of 3. So, you have to um, compute it using the calculator. Okay? So, ang aton situation si Nidere, identify man lang ang center kag radius. ba? Hmm. Identify man lang center kag radius. Hmm. Sige. Anong itsura niya kung i-graph? Okay? Basta curious ka mo, ti anong itsura si Nidere kung i-graph kaya ang, square, ang iyang radius uh, square root of uh, 12. Sige. So, let's... Uh, Use GeoGebra app again. Okay? Kanto kita sa GeoGebra. Ang inyong uh, cellphone, pwede ini download dan sa GeoGebra app. Kanto ka lang sa imo Google Play Store or kung, uh, kung uh, iPhone imo na gamit or iPad. Kanto ikaw sa uh, apps. Ano ganun na? Sa App Store. Uh, and then, pangitaon mo lang, GeoGebra. Uh, so, amun niya ang iyang uh, logo. Amun niya logo. Na, okay? So, kung ang akong ginagamit diri sa, sa, sa computer, amun man yung makita ninyo sa inyong uh, cellphone. Sige, i-graph natin ang aton yung circle. So, input lang. X squared plus Y squared equals 12. Nan. Ara na siya. Press enter. Notice. Amo na ni ang imo ha. Graph. Okay? So, diba square root of 12 ang radius? The center is at 0, 0. So, 3.46. Ara ang 3. Na alit, uh, almost 1 half. 3.5. Na wala kalabo 3.5. Kaya ba dita ni? Na. Okay? So, that this is how your circle looks like the equation is x squared plus y squared equals 12. Uh, kung hindi ka man mag-equal 12, imuon mo siya nga, nga equals, i-edit ni, ano to kina, minus 12 equals 0. Uh, pwede man, amo man siya gyapon, parehas lang, diba, wala nang change. Okay, I hope that's clear. Sige, let's proceed. Now, Sa exercises, ang mo man ang imong obrahon, determine the center 
and the radius. So, I think number 2 and number 3 ang ginpaansiran ko, no? Kahit ihapos mo lang ang number 1 kag number 4, square root ka 25 kag square root ka 9. Hmm. Ini ya, 45. Ano ya factors ka 45 nga may perfect square plus ka 12? Ang 13 ta na. Di kung paano kung wala na be perfect square factor? Ah, kung wala, kung hindi siya perfect square, ang matabo, mapabilin na siya sa radical sign. So, mo lang na eh. Wala ka sang i-factor. Amo na lang na. Okay? Hmm. Example number 2. What if the center of the circle is not at 0, 0? Paras ka dyan, oh. ah. So, makita nyo obvious nga ang iya pattern yung ina-follow pareha sini. Butang balon, ang imaw ni x, h ini. x minus h. So, si h ni siya. y plus 3. Si k ina. Ini 13. Square root, uh, square root, r squared. Sorry, radius. Gin square nga, r. Uh, so, ano ang center? Ano ang radius? Now, ang center naton is supposed to be h, k. Si H, permi na upod ni X. Okay? Si K, permi upod ni Y. So, alphabetical order. H, K. Hindi pwede mabaliskad. Okay? Now, amo man si X, Y. X comes before Y. So, alphabetical order. So, dapat X minus H. So, kaya gina-follow niya ni butang balon, H mo is 2. Tama? y plus 3. Di dapat y minus 3. Butang balon, si 3, paano iniinangin plus? Butang balon, si 3, negative. Kay y minus negative 3 becomes y plus 3. So, butang balon, y is negative 3. h is 2, y is negative 3. Butang balon, h is 2, k is negative 3. In short, the center of the circle whose equation is given here is 2, negative 3. Ayos? Okay, now we have the center. The, cent the center. Next is the radius. So, ang radius, ginakuha sa punta. Ang wala upod niya variable. Since, square inisha do na square na ni, is square root mo. Tiki wala man perfect square ang 13. Kundi square root of 13 lang. So, that is the radius of the circle. So, the radius is square root of 13. Okay? I hope that's clear. So, amo man na di, duduwa lang na di ka bilog ang akon nga gin pa-identify. Nga nga alansiran. Ayos? Next. Oops, wala na gali. Amo lang na gali. Hmm. See? We're done. Amo lang na siya ka. Easy. Okay? Pero kung ga-struggle gihapon, okay lang na ah. There's always a solution for that na kung, kung uh, ang video nga ni doesn't help, mas magamu pagid or nabudlayan pagid, uh, contact me, okay, uh, to help you or uh, you can also watch other YouTube videos na makahatag sa imo more explanation on how to identify the center and the radius of the circle. I ano mo lang ah. Uh, i-encode mo lang ang circles, equations and circles. So halimbawa, amo nino makadto ikaw sa browser mo. Kadto ka sa browser mo. Tapos kadto ka sa YouTube. Oh. Uh, equation of a circle na i-google mo lang na siya kadto ka sa mga videos na damo ka na din nakita uh, that will also help you uh, ng understand the concept okay so I hope this video helped you in uh, answering our exercises okay so see you on our next one Thank you. Bye.